Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. Are National Park Socialist? Let's delve into the heart of this question by first understanding what national parks are. National parks are areas set aside by a nation's government for the preservation of the natural environment. They're typically designated to protect stunning natural environments, diverse ecosystems, and sometimes historical or cultural sites. Now let's look at socialism. Socialism is a political and economic theory where the means of production, distribution, and exchange are owned and controlled by the community as a whole. This ownership typically involves the government playing a significant role. Bringing these two concepts together, we can see some socialist elements in the management of national parks. The government, on behalf of the community, owns, preserves, and controls access to these parks. It's a collective ownership model where every citizen shares in the benefits of these natural treasures. However, it's important to note that the establishment and management of national parks doesn't necessarily equate to a socialist political system. Many countries with diverse political systems, from capitalist to socialist, have national parks. So, are national parks socialist? They have elements of socialist ideology in their structure and operation, but their existence does not dictate the political system of a country. To learn more, check out these links which you can click in the description below, and feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning in to our video. Please like and subscribe, and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.